Today we're exploring Obnixilus of the Black Oath and Oathbreaker and seeing what kind of signature spell might pair best with him. For 5 mana, he starts at 3 loyalty. Plus 2, each opponent loses 1 life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. Minus 2, create a 5-5 black demon creature token with flying. You lose 2 life. Minus 8, you get an emblem with pay 1 in a black, sacrifice a creature. You gain X life and draw X cards where X is the sacrificed creature's power. Obnixilus of the Black Oath can be your commander. That means if we wanted to, we could build this as a commander deck and just pull 40 cards from it whenever we wanted to play Oathbreaker. For signature spells, I would look for something that's either generically good or something that doubles down on life gain or paying life or even demons. We only have two options if we want to make more demons. Promise of power for five mana, choose one. You draw five cards and you lose five life or put an XX black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield, where X is the number of cards in your hand as the token enters the battlefield. And it does have entwine for four, then you get to do both. But you really don't wanna wait until you have nine mana to cast this. Or reign of the pit for six. Each player sacrifices a creature. Create an XX black demon creature token with flying, where X is the total power of the creatures sacrificed this way. You do have to sacrifice a creature too with this card. Or we could double down on draining life with Insanguinate or Blood Tithe, causing opponents to lose life and us gaining life equal to the life lost. Or just try to get our opponents to lose as much life as possible with Torrent of Hailfire. For X Black Black, repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. Rankle's Prank is pretty solid for that too. Four mana, choose one or more. Each player discards two cards. Each player loses four life. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Again, this does include you, but it's still good and nice and versatile. And hopefully we've gained some life off of Opnixilis and other stuff to offset life loss. If our deck was really focused on gaining life, we could do a pay life signature spell, something like Hatred for five mana, pay X life. Target creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn. Or Toxic Deluge for three is an additional cost to cast the spell, pay X life. All creatures get minus X minus X until end of turn. Or even Necrologia for five. Cast Necrologia only during your end step as an additional cost to cast, pay X life, draw X cards. Now, to be honest with you, Obnixilus is not an incredible choice for an Oathbreaker. We could offset that by picking a signature spell that is just really powerful. And I've got two suggestions for you then. Deadly Rollick, if you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Exile target creature. So it's free the first time you cast it. And even the second time when you're just paying the commander tax two mana, it's still really good. It's not overpowered, obviously, it's just a really good rate. And the Elder Spell for Black Black. Destroy any number of target Planeswalkers. Choose a Planeswalker you control. Put two loyalty counters on it for each Planeswalker destroyed this way. Yes, destroy all your opponent's Planeswalkers and make it really hard for them to ever get rid of yours, because it'll have a lot of loyalty at that point. It is a downside that Opnixilus does not have a game-ending minus ability. I usually only suggest the Elder Spell when that's the case, but it's just a generically good card. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. That helps me out a ton. And here's some more videos that I think you might like. Thanks a lot for watching and have a wonderful day.